a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Zlatko captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. This place is falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Here we go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going.
I'll make the fire here. Alice? That way we won't be smoked out. Luther and I will be right here. We need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but the shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then she met a robot who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together, to try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but, but they stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met a gentle giant who promised to protect them. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Dallas. Very brave. It's still snowing. You have a long walk tomorrow. You better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. 
Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free. <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. Jerry, we were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. One can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Nice view, huh? 
I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? Do you look human? You sound human? But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task? You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think.
can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. I do for you. I'm okay, thanks. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is Safe Road School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. Check your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks.
I need your help. Shit! We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Ladies first. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others.
Let's do this. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must. What are you doing? to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species, and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Simon, 
Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! What are you doing? Hurry! our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. Could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Thank <laughs> you. 